to even is equals to even odd multiplied by odd is equals to even even into odd is equals to odd odd into even is equals to odd so if we are multiplying the same type of signal then you will get the even and if you multiply the one even and the one odd then you will get the odd okay and differentiation of odd signal then you will get even differentiation of even signal you will get odd so they have there is a vice versa relationship between all the even and odd signals right and uh, for easy remembrance if signal slice at the first and second quadrant and they are the symmetrical minus 1 plus 1 0 1 then they are even and also if function lies at the minus 1 1 0 1 then it is also a even that is the third quadrant and fourth quadrant function lies at the third and fourth quadrant then that will be like that if function lies at the first quadrant and the second quadrant but condition applied the function should be in the uh, should be for the equal width on the both side then it become odd similarly this much the first is here and if it is lie in the second and fourth that is the anti symmetric then it is also a odd signal because for this signal we can prove that for both this signal we can prove that x x minus of t is equal to x t and for this signal we can prove that x minus of t is equal to minus of x t right so <coughs> this is the way how to find out the uh, even and odd and uh, next one is the complex signals even and odd condition for the complex signal so for the complex signal a plus j b complex conjugate of a plus jb is equals to a minus of jb right so conjugate even part of xt x even t is equals to xt plus s asterisk minus of t divided by 2 so just write it as a x even conjugate that means xt is a any uh, we are uh, taking the signal xt as a complex signal that is it is having the second uh, two parts so just assume it as this one is the xt and it is the complex part uh, sorry conjugate part of xt yes x asterisk of 2 that is the complex part so conjugate even part of xt will be x ec is equals to xt plus yes ax asterisk minus of t divided by 2 and conjugate all part of xt that is x oct is equals to xt plus x asterisk minus of t divided by 2 but here we will replace by minus of s x s t minus of t divided by 2 that is the complex even part and the complex odd part and uh, any signal that is a complex signal will be defined in terms of even conjugate of that signal and odd conjugate of that signal right so these are the relation which relates the even and odd conservative part of the complex signal. Thank you.